Hi, and welcome to Upside Bullet. Today we're going to use a few simple items to make a unique and fun wall hanging. We are going to use stretched canvas, glue, paint if you choose, and bottle caps. Now, I am not advocating for going out and intentionally buying water bottles in order to get the caps, but if you, your family, friends, neighbors already use bottled water, or sports drinks, or iced teas, or anything with nice caps, ask them to save them for you. We don't want to go and ruin the environment for an art project, right? This is upcycling. Okay, so I decided that my first piece was going to be a heart, and I wanted to do a background of color. So I printed out a heart and attached it to my canvas in the center, taped it down, and then painted around it and removed it. Our next step is going to be really simple. We're going to fill in that area with our clear bottle caps. I find that painting the glue on is a lot more efficient than trying to squeeze it. So we're gonna put some glue in our cup and start painting. You'll want to start on the edge so that you have a good border for your shape, whatever you're going to do. Now we're going to see our next one is going to be a little bit different. The next one I'm going to do is going to be a peace sign. Let's get going on this part. Don't worry if the glue gets on your painted portions as it will dry clear and you'll never see that. Once you have your outline, then you'll begin filling in with more of the bottle caps. This particular one took about 55 bottle caps total to make the heart. Depending, of course, on the size of your piece, you'll need more or less. Now, you can use your imagination with this. You don't have to do the background in a color. You could do under the heart with a color and let that shine through. You could attach all of your bottle caps and then selectively color or paint those that you'd like to stand out, perhaps the very centers, perhaps the edging around. This is your project, use your creativity. We're just about done with this one. And here and there I'm moving the caps around a little bit so that they fit just a little more snugly. There we go. And my last one. Okay, so I have attached them all. And here we have my first canvas. My second piece, I decided to paint a nice light green background and use multicolored, multi-sized caps in order to make a peace sign. I laid it out in advance, took a photo, and I'm going to use this as my template. Again, any design you would like is what you are going to make. It does help to lay it out in advance, take a photo, work from that so that you know what you have and how it's going to work before you start gluing. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to attach a photo of some grammar symbols that I made for a classroom I had taught in. So there was an exclamation point, a question mark, and a period. And I think they were kind of fun to do and show how you can use almost any size plastic lid for this project. All right, so I'm going to start with the peace sign. This one will be a little bit more complicated simply because it's not just all the same things in a simple pattern. So let's start. When you're working with larger bottle caps, you'll want to use more glue. I've gotten the top half of my circle done. I now want to work on the peace symbol going down the center using smaller caps. 
This way I'll see how far the bottom has to come. So starting from the top, I will start gluing the smaller caps in. And then I'm going to come off with the other legs. We're going to put our last few pieces in, working from the model of our previous attempt we are able to place all of the pieces right where they belong. And here we have our peace sign. This is a fun, easy craft. Kids can do it with you. It's a great way to upcycle something that would normally just rend up in the recycling bin. I hope you have fun with this, and I hope you've enjoyed upcycling. Have a good weekend.